Hello, 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 procrastinators, and welcome back. So today, today, today is Accent Wall Day. So I am super, super, super excited in regards to that. If you've been following me on social media, you know that I have um, asked you guys paint color opinions. I've showed you guys me going to the store and picking up the MDF, which I'll throw in this video as well. Um, and now we're going to actually get this thing done. So before we do, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get all of the latest videos. And now that I've said all that, let's get started. Okay, so to start this project off, we are going to tape um, around the edges, our baseboards, get down all of our floor coverings. Um, I'm going to paint this wall, which isn't done in all of these projects. This wall is about an 18 foot by 10 foot um, space. So we're going to paint that. Um, we're going to cut the trim. Um, the MDF that I purchased was a three quarters by 12 inch piece. We're going to cut those into one by two inch strips. I'm going to paint those strips. And then once I've done all of that, I will come back to the video and show you guys the actual process of putting everything on the wall. So you will, in the meantime, see me at um, the local hardware store picking out the MDF as well as um, us cutting a little bit of the MDF just so you can see that process. So I will see you back in a sec. So hello family. So I am in my local hardware store and I am looking at the trim um, to buy for my wall project. I am excited. So I am going to go with the MDF um, just because I feel like I can get five one by two pieces for $11 as compared to $6, $7 a piece for one eight foot piece. So it's just more economical to go this way. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab these pieces. So as promised, I'm just showing you that we are cutting this 12 inch by three quarter in depth. Um, it is eight feet long. We're cutting those boards into one by two strips. So um, just thought you wanna see that process. Also letting you know I use four of those boards. So this part of the project cost me a little over $44. Okay, so I am just popping in here. I am sweating between my five mile walk and starting the cutting process. Um, so the MDF is now cut into two inch strips. I got about, like just as I thought, about five per, um, per board. And then a skinnier strip, which I might even make a detail, like have a couple of boards, a couple of the stripes like skinnier, I don't know yet. But, um, so, and I've also decided because I just don't have the space um, to paint all of these. I'm gonna paint the wall, but I am not gonna paint these um, just because I don't have the space to do it. And if you're using MDF, just so you know, MDF is a lot more of a mess when, when um, ripping it. It's a lot more of a mess than what it would be. Um, so just so you are aware of that, because basically this is just a whole bunch of board stuff pressed together, right? So it's, it's making a mess. So um, I just wanted to come in real quick and tell you that. And now I'm gonna paint, finally paint this wall. Somebody must have moved my angle. I'm gonna finally paint this wall. As you can see, it is um, taped off. So I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna start popping these boards on. Okay, so I chose um, an Orion Gray by Bear. Um, so that is what's going on the wall. So it's a slate color. Um, so it turned out really well. So 
I just finished painting the wall and I decided that it's hot. Not that it's hot in here, but I'm using that as my excuse to have some ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, God. No. Oh, a little French vanilla. So pecans. Bananas. A little hot fudge. Mmm. All right. I guess I need to finish this and get back to work. Mm-mm-mm. Because of how dusty everything was, I did make my cuts out on the porch. So you'll see as I show you the elapsed um, time of me putting things on the wall, I'm actually leaving and cutting <laughs> everything out here. So went with 45 and 90 degree angles. Okay, so sorry about the blurriness, but um, I trimmed out the whole wall. So I made one big rectangle and then made the triangle there in the middle. And then I just kind of played off of that triangle. So I didn't come in with a plan other than knowing that I wanted the triangles to be the middle piece of that. So you'll see me do a lot of standing around and holding pieces up, trying to figure out where do I want my next piece? You know, but it really came together um, and just trying to figure out the angles um, and what's going to be 45 degrees and what's going to be 90 degrees and then which way I wanted pieces to go. Um, so as you can see there, I did use the spacer, but only used it a little bit. Um, for the most part, I did. I, I eyeballed most of um the pieces that are up there. So, and I now went off of lines that were already there. So first I had that bottom triangle, but then I took the triangle up on each side. So it's, it for me was just a matter of playing and then trying to make sure I got the middle. So you saw like right there, I used um, my measuring tape a little bit just to see if I could figure out where my middle was and then mark it and then actually go in there and figure out where I needed to place my cuts. And here I actually cut it a little too long. So I had to go back and cut it again, which is better too long than too short. Right. So, um, from there we spackled all of the nail holes and the seams and sanded those. And then I did touch up paint that night as well as again that morning for everything i missed in my with my tired eyes so um that is pretty much the process it was it was um a day a day process as you can see it turned out so super well so very proud of it y'all are getting a close-up of my face because <laughs> I want to show you the big reveal and I am so excited, so excited about the wall. Can you see it with my smile? So without further ado, I am going to show you this wall. It is so amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I did that. I did that. Oh my God. Like being a DIYer, you know, you do stuff, sometimes it don't work out. But when it works out like this and it looks so good good it's just something to be proud of something to say hey i did that with my own hands and look how well it turned out so and, but it also gives people this false sense of you can do everything <laughs> i've learned that over the years like people are like can you do and it's like eh, okay sure you know something else to learn to try but anyways i'm glad you guys are with me every time i do learn and try something the only um extra tip that I have with this I did end up because I went back and forth on whether I was going to paint the MDF before I put it on the wall but painting the wall and then painting those strips I just had to go back and do like touch-ups which was really great so I would suggest painting the strips um, let's see the other thing was because I cut the MDFs because you know it was basically a shelf that we took and made into one by twos so the cutting it with the saw gave it like ridges that were a little it took more paint to soak in and make it what it is so but other than that like this 
mm -mm. my husband thinks that we're gonna like do his garage now <laughs> that's right okay so anyways i again want to thank you i'm doing too long on this in dialogue but thank you again for watching please if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all the next time